Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today. You know, I can't trust her sometimes as far as I can throw her, but her name is Sarah Frazier. Oh, really? Okay, what happened, David Yanjif? Did I throw you under the bus? What? What's going on? Let me tell you. Um, First of all, I don't know oh, do why you have you're- a bone to pick? I have what? a bone to pick. I don't know why you're breaking up a little bit over there with your internet. We're starting out with some spotty internet here. I mean, maybe she's oh. doing it on purpose because I just shaded the shit out of her. But okay, this is the thing. I talk on my Patreon for a little bit. You know, I spoke recently on the phone. I don't know when it was like a week ago, two weeks ago to Margaret Josephs. I don't know. We'll deal with that. That's a whole nother thing. I talk about that on Patreon. That's what Patreon is for people. And then I'm just scrolling around the internet because that's what one does. And I see on TikTok, Twitter, whatever other social platforms you kids are on these days, we got Sarah Frazier. The call is coming. Coming from inside the house, guys. She's doing an expose podcast hoster. Uh, podcast host David Yantef makes up or speaks to, and I never even use the words made up. Meek speaks to Margaret Joseph and Miss Frazier. The call is coming within the house, darling. I, oh, here it is. It's from yesterday's podcast episode. Has podcaster David Yontif reconciled with ex-friend Margaret Josephs? Brandy Glanville hospitalized. Here's our theory as to why. And Garcelle lands new true crime gig. It was our joint episode. I titled it something different. And the next thing I know, I see like in my name and lights with Margaret Joseph. So guys, sometimes you can't trust the... I'm going to start calling you Shady Sarah Frazier. I learned from the best. I learned from you and my fans. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Our fans love one of my like highest downloaded podcast episodes in recent, like in the past couple months is does David, does podcaster David Yon to pay me? That was like a big one. That like got me thousands of downloads. So now I'm like, oh, I'm dropping his name again. If that worked once, honey, let's do it again. Here's the good news for you. Keep dropping it. And you know what the good news is? It seems that my, you know, my, the people that I can be feuding with are just endless. Although I have to say I'm feuding with no one these days. Um, okay. Hopefully you're, I mean, I don't know if there's a delay. It seems weird. Maybe it's you, maybe it's me, but hopefully you can hear me. I can hear you great, okay. but I've been having tons of internet issues. So am I it's cutting you. up? No, not, wait. not really. Okay, keep me posted. Maybe I'll text my husband and see if he'll turn the um, TV off so there's no internet. I know, it's like... Um, it's okay. I mean, listen, the train has left the station. So what did you want to ask me? You had something to say over here about this? Well, wait, wait, wait. Yes, because um, I just had read a um, an article about Margaret Josephs threatening another blogger. Now, I know you do all your tea on your Patreon um, you know, surrounding New Jersey people, but it it seemed like it got pretty heavy. Like Margaret, are you going to talk about that? Margaret like was threatening the blogger. I don't know who this blogger is because to be honest with you, I didn't think we were going to cover um, any Margaret Joseph. So I really didn't read too much, but I it sprung it on you. No, I mean, listen, first of all, I mean, I don't, okay. It's, it's housewife historian who we love housewife historian. She, she, um, she covers my Patreon when I do Jersey. We love her dearly. Uh, look, I don't know what in Trey Fab, we love our Trey Fab. She's kind of involved. I don't know exactly what happened, but I know that Margaret is saying that they're going after her business and so therefore, Margaret, they're showing a DM that Margaret sent to her saying, you know, you're coming after my business and cease and desist and the local police are involved. And so that's it. And historian, housewife historian got, I believe, a timeout from Instagram because I don't know the, how that works. Like, I assume Margaret then oh, well, somebody complained. Reported. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone... I mean, it usually takes, my understanding is, but maybe people know more that are listening to this. My understanding is multiple people have to report your account. Like I for hate so. speech or I don't know that you're posting something completely inaccurate. But, you know, if you've got a bunch of Finstas plus your own account, I'm not saying that Margaret Josephs has Finstas. They I don't say, know. They say she's got Finstas, honey. They say she's got but Finstas. 
if you've got 10 Finstas, plus you've got your own account, I mean, you know, and enough people, I think, report it and they do give you a timeout for a while. Wow. Well, that I'm going to delve into more on the Patreon. We love our Lex. We love our historian. We love our Trey Fab. I don't got no problems with Margaret today. Sorry to upset everybody on that. But, you know, I go with my my moment of how I feel. So there you go. But I had to call you out, Frasia, because I mean, but you have learned from the best. And I'm so proud of you that you're using my good name to get clicks. I am. I am. I am proud of you. I am proud of you, girl. Any, whatever it takes, you know, you know. Podcasting world is tough right now, baby. Whatever we got to do, honey. It is tough. Now, you know who's having a good moment is our girl. I mean, I've always, I've never said anything bad about her. The one, the only blast from the past, Miss Tinsley Mortimer. Okay, so wait, did you find out the name of this fiance? Here's the thing, guys. There's a lot of moving parts to the David Yontef behind the Velvet Rope and Sarah Fraser show. So this, the name, so Tinsley posted, she said family vac- vacay before the big day. She was with this guy he and his kids. Everyone thinks Tinsley's now engaged. She's neither confirmed nor denied that. The guy, because these listeners are so good, the guy's name is out there. It was all over the blogs. And now I can't find it. It seems like he's like a owner of a business look she doesn't live in new york tinsley let's i think everyone knows that means she's down there in like the palm beach area so look i mean i'm sure it's somebody with money i'm sure dale would not approve of this person if they didn't have money so it seems like the guy has he he looks like jared kushner doesn't he he sort of has like a jared kushner look to me he seems way better fitted for her than i'm sorry scott kluth the guy now I, I adore my Carol Rudd as well. And Scott, who we all know, the ex-fiance who completely led her on, uh, you know, Scott just did not seem, he didn't seem like at all her type. I don't know. Sorry. I just didn't find Scott hot in any way. So this guy, I, I say that to say, look, I feel like this guy seems better suited for her. He looks like a, you know what I mean? He looks like one of those country club guys. You know what I mean? Uh, Scott, listen, I'm not a fan of Scott. You know, you love the Radzi. She was on my show for three episodes. I have, you know, I feel about Radzi kind of how you feel about Bethany. It's it's honestly a mixed bag with me for Radzi. Well, you know, look, it's kind of like, what have you done for me lately? She came on for three hours, a three-part episode, and bared her soul. And for that, I will eternally have a space in my heart for Carol Raswell. I then had breakfast with her with my good friend Gregory Zarian. He's an actor. He lives in L.A. I post pictures of him all the time. He has a twin. Gregory's a big deal. He was on Revenge. He's now on The Wonder Years. Very good friend of mine. It, we had breakfast, me and him and Carol Raziwell at a diner right near Barney's when it was open. So I had moments with Carol.